Ladies and gentlemen, what? yo, 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 what? episode 87 in the ITC podcast. We is in this thing, you know what I'm saying? Back like we never left. You feel me? Yes, yep. sir. You know what time it is, man? Back like we never left, man. Hey, feeling good. It's Friday. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boys, I got to work mm-hmm. this weekend. You know what I'm saying? About to kick Sheesh. back for the most part. Mm-hmm. I remember them uh, the retail days. So, feel for my retail family out there. You know what I'm saying? Keep it up, though. Keep the grind going. You feel me? How y'all feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good. Just, you know. Made it another week. Tired as hell. <laughs> Made it another All week, right. man. <laughs> nevertheless, nevertheless, we got a lot of things that we can get at to uh, get at and talk about, man. There's been a few, quite a few things going on, um, mm-hmm. as usual. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to start off with some positivity, making sure everybody's straight in their headspace. It's a lot of BS always going on in the world. So, hey, what you kind of feed into is usually what's going to come back at you. So, try mm-hmm. to, you know, com- you know, wash out that algorithm. You know, reset it. Get some positive stuff going. Uh, I noticed myself doing that, looking at some words of the days, mm-hmm. um, looking at... Um, Smile, my boy. I always look at Webster. I, I try to learn a new word, even if it's a word I already know. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Trying to edu- keep keep that education going, you feel me? Mm-hmm. going to slurp in the middle of my... <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of it like that. I'm sorry. He did do the loud ass. Yeah, he did the loud ass <laughs> slurp in the middle too. of the, in the movie. Mi- in the mic. In the middle of the movie. He slurped. did it in the mic, though. He- Everybody watching that quiet part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, hey, you with the beard. <laughs> which one? <laughs> which one? You got to say which one? With the man. Nike. Uh-huh. Well, it's actually true, <laughs> but you know. Man. How we feel about James Harden trying to come back to Houston if that happened? Uh, nah, rumors, smoomers, you know? Yeah. How do y'all feel about it? Yeah. I, I personally don't care because they need a veteran on the team. <laughs> I've been watching every damn game, so. Yeah. I feel for you. Yeah, I, that's... I, I watch all my Houston team, so I'm just that guy who just takes on all the pain. <laughs> but I like that you don't talk trash about like where you at or where we are, kind of like how the Cowboys fans didn't do when yeah. they were still losing. Yeah, you I'm, don't. I'm a I'm a diehard. So yeah. mm-hmm. like I, I like I understand my team isn't great, and so mm-hmm. like I'll you know jokingly say some stuff, but I'm a ride for my team at the of end course. of the day. That's so it's bro. like that's 100. It is what it is, man. We we bad right now, but wait, but wait, wait. There's and, more. and this is the crazy thing that I tell people that that talk trash about the Rockets. So when people start talking shit about the Rockets, I'm like, I'm born. I was born in '91. Mm-hmm. These three years are the worst years I've ever seen the Rockets in my entire life. We've never had a actual rebuild since I've been alive. Mm-hmm. Ever. Yeah, they, we've been never bad. been this. We've never been the joke of the league mm-hmm. ever since I've been alive. So you know, you can get your laughs in right now. You know, this is the first time I've ever experienced this on the basketball side. Football side, I'm used to that shit. Like, yeah, we yeah, we've nice. been here since 2002, and we yeah. just ain't really. We just been all right. We had we had some decent years that was enjoyable. Mm-hmm. You know, some Deshaun years that was cool. We had yeah. some Mike Matt Schaub years that was cool. Uh-huh. We never really did anything huge yet. Yeah, but. It is what it is. Can't wait. I'm still loyal to my soil, and um, you know, I, okay, loyal I see, to my soil. I see Pause. bright, bright uh futures in uh, all my franchises, especially the Astros. I know y'all hate us though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know you hate that though. Hey, two times, 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 two we two times, two. We may be a three time on the cool. You Low never know. Key. Mm-hmm. Low key, but we'll we'll say that. They said we wouldn't go another get day. another one. Remember that? All I gotta they, say they, is nobody wanted us to win this year. Mm-hmm. That they hurt, didn't. didn't it? When it comes to them allegations, you know what I'm saying? It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Facts, because there's so many teams that was out there cheating. cheating. Yeah. By mm-hmm. the way, the Yankees are children. If you're from New York, <laughs> damn. Mm. Mm. That's tough. Yeah, man. Outside but, of that, though, I don't know. I don't know how I would feel. Um, just thinking of it, and just in for conversation purposes, mm-hmm. I don't know, because uh, he, he kind of really annoyed me a little bit. How he oh, did, he, he the, pissed the, me off for the sure. The exit was kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. I, so I, I think for my issue at this point, I'm just like, the more I see certain things happen in the league, the more I'm just like, it's a business. It is what it is. Yeah, he, he's yeah, trying no, to I get it. go to a better job. That's yeah. what he's doing. I get it. It's and just more it. the other stuff that came with it and the. The rhetoric and all that. If that's the case, take 13. Oh, no. Got hit with the Amber Alert. Yeah. I seen this one last... I think this one came on last night. No mistake. But, yeah. Like, Hope they it, find them. Um, there it is. I was waiting on it. But, yeah. Um, I seen John Wall interview. 
Yeah, which um, well, yeah. the funny thing about that is a lot Clips of the local, of a lot of the local uh, insiders that like deal with the rocks and stuff. They're like, it's partially a little off. Uh, some of the stuff he's saying because he's not really giving the full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the full, full side of all the it. all the things going on. Mm-hmm. In that, he only in gonna give it from his perspective, exactly for which he he can, but for the most part. And then he's we don't know the, the way they were trying to make it like. The way one of the guys uh, made it seem, he was like he wasn't forced out that, but like like the entire year, and like he was like showing snippets of him actually at the practice gym and stuff. But, but I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't know what what time frame that was. So I can't <laughs> right, really, yeah, you know, because he was there what two years, right? Yeah, two years. Yeah, it's hard and to so, speak on because we're not in yeah. the back. You know, we don't know don't what's know. going on behind mm-hmm. closed doors. Know. But like after you know seeing a lot of that type of stuff, like I just understand it's a business, so. A veteran could help this team. This team is just young. And then on top of that, the coach is just inexperienced as well. He's another mm-hmm. inexperienced person. Like, you got an inexperienced coach, head coach. You got an inexperienced set of players. Coach came in with the expectations of having Harden and Westbrook as his yeah, um, yeah. players. And then you don't get that. Christian Wood came in with the same mentality. He mm-hmm. didn't get that. John Wall came in with the same mentality. They, they didn't get that. get that. And so, you know, it just kind of... Went like that, and James Harden kind of put us in that situation, low key, high key, um, key key. By leaving, <laughs> do you love me? But it is what You're it is. Stupid, like bro. if you come back, you know, it's kind of like the LeBron James type thing. Like you leave, you come back, you get a, you get something for us, and then cool. Like it is what it is. It's a business. I get it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I get it. Again, I get the business side. Feeling side is like, oh yeah, you as a to, fan, you don't have to do all that. I'm still not, you know, just cool with you like that. Like, yeah, you can't make it seem. It's, it's just like you made it seem like we didn't. They didn't create a team around you. Yeah, I mean, they kept yeah. doing but everything I mean, to build around you. I, you know, and, and it's like that part bothers me for sure. But then I look back, look at the stuff he does for the city, and I'm like, he's he's still doing things for the city even outside of the city. So it's like, yeah. I always got to give love to that. Kind of got to love that. Like at the end of the day, so I like, still ain't been a thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it wasn't that good, food wise. Well, I've only been to the club part, so gotcha. <laughs> so you've been to? Yeah, I heard the food uh, was overrated. So I've never had to, the food though. You've been to six point five? <laughs> no, bro. It's all yes. thirteen. It's you, all thirteen. You were at six point five. No, it feels. you didn't completely experience it. <laughs> you did. It was all thirteen. You got to fully experience the James. 13. Be up there, like he'll be. he my homie. Uh, I think it was New Year's. Yeah, it was New Year's Eve. He was, you know, DJing there or whatever. It's like his home. Uh, yeah, of and uh, he was up there and then he requested that the, my <laughs> homie stay there until like four, five in the morning. Because he he wanted, after everyone left, he had like a little private yeah. part where he just wanted to hear music that he wanted to listen to. So my homie was up there to like five, six in the morning. As long as I'm getting paid for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. as long as you got paid extra. Because you don't have, at that point, you don't have to go to an after hour spot. You can literally just stay there. Yeah, yeah. yeah nah, he was there. Oh, easy money. <laughs> you know? Oh, don't worry about it. You paid. Easy money. Yeah, but I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. I can go home and put on my Bluetooth and listen to music <laughs> I want to. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Exactly why he would take the Chico plate. Yeah, he would. You uh, see what I'm saying? You yep. see how he just tried yep. to save I'm money right the, there? Out the club, man. It's tough. <laughs> exactly why I got to go to go to it's tough. Definitely t- We're not doing this again. We're strange thing. Y'all, y'all know what it's y'all weird know what it is. Y'all know it's not weird activity. It's not weird. It's not weird. <laughs> not for, not for <laughs> a nigga that likes to save wild, money. Bro. It's not weird. <laughs> yeah, no. so I don't want to hear that. All right, we're not going to go to that rabbit <laughs> yeah, hole. That, we're, we're past <laughs> that point. You know what I'm saying? I still ain't got my picture yet either. Bro, you can get the picture, bro. You can get the picture, man. I'll, 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 you know, I don't go I'll to take club time. like that. I'll no take more. time on him. I'll he take time to get the he picture. He said he was gonna get it to go bag. I ain't getting nothing to eat uh, this time. But you know what? I'll get something to eat for yeah. no reason. For no reason. No, it's gonna be nah, for a reason. Oh, oh, empty your Ross stomach. Always yeah, I'm gonna empty. I'm gonna I'm fast first. Make sure <laughs> you know what I'm saying. At least eat breakfast. Nah, I don't even going wake to the up club for is late. Nah, if you do like the day, oh, you talking about daytime or nighttime? Oh, what's the, I mean, nah, nighttime. Cause yeah, <laughs> yeah nah, you cheating, you, you cheating. Go. You can go with a bag. You can go. You, you, you can, can leave both. it. A, you can leave it to go bag during the day. Either, either time. All right, fine. I'm fine. Trying to tell you, leaving right. with a to go bag during the day is a different animal versus going. At I night. wouldn't say it's a different animal. It is different because you're doing it during the Bro, day. We really have this conversation again. Oh I'm trying. Not to. <laughs> Let it go, man. We'll talk about it off camera. Yeah, we'll talk about it off camera, man. <laughs> but speaking of going out, uh, obviously, uh, we still got the playoffs going on, uh, uh, NFL sure. playoffs. Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Watching the Chargers completely implode on themselves <clears throat> is probably one of the craziest things I've ever seen live yeah, man, in front of like people watching it. Because at first, you know like when like 
uh, like I guess you could say the game is not really going anywhere. You can be like, oh, it's over. So people, they just vibing out, chilling. But then as the game goes on and then you start seeing stuff, like people just looking up, oh, damn, they scored. Then they look up again, oh, shit, they scored again. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, sh- oh, shit. And then now people starting to pay attention. I could, I could That's watch, what I love about football. I could watch people's like intentions, like, well, attention span, like start to <laughs> shift from yeah, just yeah, taking yeah. shots and all this other stuff and chilling to like, you oh, like, like, until, like, oh, it's oh, getting real. Oh, until it got to like the last second when it kicked the field goal. And you'd be oh, people going crazy. And it you was, would go nuts, bro. Yeah, I, was, I remember that feeling, not football, but when mm-hmm. Jordan was on. Uh, the plate at for the World Series. Mm, and yeah, when he, when he, <laughs> you can feel the shit. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, you feel bro. that momentum shift. Like, Damn. Yeah, nah. It's the same way I explain. Um, so we went to what was that? The Rocks Atlanta game. That game. Um, Dejounte Murray tapped uh Jabari Smith in the head, mm. and then the 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 uh, they got upset about it. They all, they almost was about to fight, and then after that. The Rockets just took off on this crazy like streak of just scoring, mm-hmm. and then you could see and feel the whole like the, the whole stadium was, stadium was going crazy. We were down by like five at this point, but we were down by like twenty at the at the time. It would have eighteen or twenty, something like that. Mm-hmm. They come back to about down like by five, called a timeout, and then KPJ comes to the side of the crowd and goes like this. And the entire oh, yeah. stadium started shaking. You was like, oh, all the Philly Hawks losing in this game. We, we, everybody knew at that point. I was like, I need that energy back in the Rockets that they had. Yeah, in that game. I mean, that, the crowds be there too. That was insane. I, <laughs> and I was I like, like, they, they I hadn't still felt get nothing support. like that, and they since like Harden was here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was remember, like, I remember no. the Harden game when we played the Lakers, <sighs> and they was coming back and starting to tag them. And I mean, that's when we had Harden, Clint Capella, mm-hmm. you know, Ariza. And we was, we was, we was tough. Oh yeah, you know, oh, we yeah. had some, we had some people out there. And I mean, when we beat them too. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and it was dog that building. They <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I like the fact that it's you still get that going to a Rockets game now. Like yeah. people still be just as lit, you know and what that's because the, with the Rockets they've built a foundation in comparison to like the Texans or something like the yeah. Texans mm-hmm. still so new and they haven't really done enough for somebody to be like like the Rockets got two two three champ well two, two championships two back championships, to back mm-hmm. and um and so like with those championships like that gives people a reason to talk about something kind of like the Cowboys yeah. that's pretty yeah. much what we are in in basketball right now yeah. Yeah. like the Cowboys we just talk about old championships that we did in the nineties. Um, and I mean that's just the, that's the facts, and but that makes a fan base so much stronger though. Because mm-hmm. you're just that's, waiting for that. Because they like we can do it again. Get, yeah. It's possible. Like, we were almost there, but mm-hmm. yeah, we don't want to talk about that. Yeah. Now. But uh, yeah, <sighs> going back to the playoffs, like watching that we implosion, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's crazy because I was scared for the uh, Chargers because I'm a I was actually a Chargers slash mm-hmm. Packers fan before the Texans existed. Oh, okay. okay. So I just kind of was a free agent. I just watched certain teams. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, certain players more yeah. than anything. Mm-hmm. And so when I watched, because I watched the Chargers a lot this season as well. So mm-hmm. I seen them um, lose a lot of leads this yeah. year. And so I was like, I don't like the fact that they let them score before that half ended. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that gave them some momentum. That gave yeah. them hope. They, they came, came to that locker third. room. And then I could just I could feel it. I was like, Y'all know what time it is. Good. Yep. Y'all know what, what time yeah. it is. Y'all know what time it is. Like, if they don't come out and score, this is gonna be bad. They did not score. What I think they kicked a field goal or something. Mm-hmm. I was they like, kicked they the need field a goal. touchdown. I was like, they need touchdowns now. I could just I don't know, I could feel it. And I'm like, and I'm not even putting it on one person. I could just mm-hmm. tell with that that type of coach in comparison to what they had before, I'm like, mm-hmm. Doug Peterson won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. He, he knows how to how to get there. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting there like, uh, he going he gonna to pump these boys up to, yeah. to where they believe. Yeah, nah. He, sure enough. He definitely did. And, I uh, believe it. And it was it was a crazy thing to see, bro. So the real question is, is what's going to happen against, uh, against Kansas City? Kansas City and uh, Jacksonville. All Ooh, I know is if you go down that low, you ain't you ain't getting you no know, Nah, you're not. Yeah, nah. Nah. R.I.P. It can't. Because they're going to start. Yeah, they're they going to they light they you gonna up. They're going to start doing Ring the Rosie again. I will, <laughs> I will say That's this. disrespectful. Bro. I will say I'm this. I'm telling you that now. Hopefully they don't come in there, Kansas City come in there taking Jacksonville lightly because we've seen it time and time again where a team will take them lightly, don't take them seriously, and then all of a sudden now it comes down to like a couple plays. Like Mm -hmm. it happened with us with the Texans and the Cowboys. Cowboys didn't take it seriously. But we came in that game with the purpose of, nah, Mm -hmm. you're going to have to play to beat us. Even as bad as we were this year. Yeah. Yeah. I I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't be surprised if Mahomes – 
if they won this year. Yeah, Jackson, Jackson won it all. Just won it. I wouldn't be surprised because oh, uh, Kansas City. Oh yeah, yeah that's kind of how I he kind of got a couple things to prove, and they didn't kind of remember he was on this high, you know, this high just last year, year before. And I mean, they was just Multiple talking about years. Um, he's still um, yeah, on yeah, he yeah consistently been on media high. wise. It just felt like oh yeah, it shifted but that's to Joe, yeah, Joe Burrow. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, and then now he got that thing with him. People tell him, well, oh, okay, you beat Joe every time they face you know. And it's just like they creating the storyline. I love it. You, know, yeah. you can see it. You yeah, can yeah. see the story being told. Mm-hmm. They they real good, but I don't know. Just so I wouldn't be think, surprised. I'll say that. So. I would love for the Eagles to win. Same. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind like the Eagles winning. I mean, I guess because my team's not in it. Like I, I don't have yeah. a particular, but I wouldn't mind the Eagles winning. I'm, uh, I'm a, I'm a Mahomes <laughs> guy, you know. So Mahomes winning. Jalen Hurts just from the H. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he yeah, is. yeah. He That's is. where I'm rooting for. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would love for San Fran. I wouldn't to take mind care for the Bills. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that either. That would be cool. That would be nice pretty cool because I think that'll be a dope story. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so a lot of the teams, I just don't want Dallas to win. Of I mean, course. That's my, I mean, of course. That's a no-brainer. I was going to say it, though. You know, case, oh, there's somebody already somebody typing. This clip. Oh, you, I you, you, yeah, you guys go. It, see, this is the thing I try to tell people. I'm like, I don't even hate the team. I, I like Dak. I like Zeke. I like the players. Like it's just Pollard. the uniform. I like a lot of the players. If all those players had a different uniform, I rock with them. For yeah. real. But it's not even that. It's the fans, fans. bro. Them fans yeah. so be like you'll run into like three out of twenty reasonable Cowboys fans. Yeah, like it's I rare. Three, I, I wouldn't I, three out of. 60. I say three because I have three on my timeline. Three out of 50. That's it. Three reasonable ones that I can actually speak to and have an actual educational football <laughs> to football like conversation. One when I like, seen one yeah, of the I don't homies. know if we really that you know saying some logical shit instead of the we going to the Super Bowl Cowboys fan. Yeah. Like that's one of the most annoying Spongebob ones. Meme. You be like bro yep. at least make it make sense bro. Nah they ain't even trying to do that. <laughs> nah, they ain't even trying to be made sense but I don't know man like I just I don't know if that's hate but I just don't I can't say Someone saying it's no, probably hate. Team. <laughs> no no no. The reason why it's not hate is because we're a Houston born and it's uh, in, encoded in our DNA to <laughs> I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Actually. Specifically for the Houston it's like loyalists, a like the Houston loyalists. Specifically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, you're yeah. born and you just brought up that way, like into the Houston culture environment and stuff. Most of the time, you you don't really rock with that blue and silver. And it's so bad. I haven't even been to Dallas. Yeah, I haven't really? been to Dallas in a long time. Ever? Since. You lie. I've only been through Dallas. I've never been to Dallas. What? Yeah. Well, I got family out there, so I have yeah, reasons. I got family oh, yeah, out there, there you too. Go. <laughs> Y'all didn't have there family. Uh, I would probably never go. I want to go to Dallas. I'm gonna be real. Well, I'm I would go real. for like Six Flags. That was probably the only reason. At one point, I wanted to go. Well, we had our own at the point in time when I was younger. But it was like, to be honest with you, compared to all the other Six Flags, in I, the country, I couldn't tell. It just seemed like it was the live shit ever. Or it was either go to uh, Astroworld or Disneyland. That was it. Or um. What's the one in California? We go to Fiesta, Texas. Fiesta, Texas. Fiesta, Texas. I Fiesta, go to San Antonio Fiesta. a lot. Fiesta, Texas was. I mean, that was another big one too. So that was another big one. Yeah. It's crazy because when I went to school out there, I never I still, went to Fiesta, I still Texas. I love the people from Dallas that support us though. <laughs> Y'all get it though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just a natural born rivalry, <laughs> yeah. man. You a natural born rivalry. All, it's a lovely, friendly rivalry. <laughs> so, I love. I like DSR. Dirty South Riders. Big, I like a lot of their music. Yeah, their music. I, and I mean, they vibes, you know, dancing. Yeah, music, no, like the jig, yeah, yeah, I like course. a lot of culture out there. Yeah, of course. It's not I, like I, a, It's just not cowboy culture. Do not like the haircut. I just oh, no. Nah, keep that booty over is. there. What is... Keep like, the booty thing. I, as a kid, whatever. I used to always say, Dane, they want to be so against us. They did the reverse of the taper. Because you remember... That's we exactly the what they did. That's exactly what they look, did. That takes man. another... Look, man. Whatever floats your boat, as Dub say, you know what I'm saying? We're not here to judge. Not here to ridicule. He's one hundred percent judge. We just, we just, you know. <laughs> Hold on. What? Why are you talking like that when we talking about Dallas? Because I, I have no disclaimer people, needed. I'm gonna fill you in because my boy was going real heavy on Greens Point the other day. <laughs> yeah, Greens Point's different though. Whoa, Greens Point is different. He bro. was going in on Greens Point, bro. Greens Point's different. Bro. I said you got to be careful. You I in grew Houston. up around it, so I mean, <laughs> he was being disrespectful. Oh, Greens Point's very different. <laughs> I've watched at least three people get robbed in the it's parking a different, lot. It's a difference about <laughs> them being different. Sharpstown's even more different. And you disrespect them. Sharpstown, I've seen way more stuff than nah, Greenspoint. This, this and Greenspoint is, is terrible. Yeah. But Sharpstown, I watch a nigga steal popcorn. <laughs> it, it's just... And, it's and just, spill most of it while running. 
It's just I'm stupid. not even lying, bro. I'm not lying. We were sitting on the bench right behind the uh right in front of the popcorn stand. Dude walks up, he says, uh, it's an Asian lady. He said, Can I get this? Is when I was I used to go get the uh, haircut in there with the green uh mm-hmm. the green barbershop in there. Mm-hmm. I used to get my shoes right there, all that. And so I'm sitting right there in front of the popcorn stand with my mom. Haircut, man. <laughs> I, used to, I, used I was to trying always. to agree with you, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's a it's a haircut. Mm-hmm. It was a barbershop no, in there. Um, but uh um, I uh he was he ordered from the lady. He was walking up and then the lady uh comes up and she was like, What what what, what would you like or whatever? And he was like, Can I get some popcorn? And then she gets the popcorn and then he goes, Can I can I get a drink too? And she turns around. As soon as she turns around, this dude go grabs the popcorn and starts running with the popcorn. And he was spilling the popcorn everywhere. I was like, damn, you wasted most of the popcorn that you got for free. <laughs> she not gonna chase you, bro. <laughs> this nigga stole a bag of popcorn. She said, hey. Well, and he just turned and around and kept doing what she bro. was doing. <laughs> he dropped most of it. <laughs> This thing is stole a bag of popcorn and ran at full took, speed. They took bro. the they took it to the top for me because I seen that and then I, I think the same day I seen the dude get robbed in the in the uh, parking lot for some Jordans. Oh, I, yeah. I'll never forget that. That That's that day cold, was crazy. Bro. The thing about it is they robbed during the day. Exactly. It don't matter what yeah, time. Nah, yeah, yeah. It don't matter what time it is. You're getting robbed. I think that's why they just stopped all that. There's the line, like the, I don't know, I don't know how it is now. I haven't because everybody raffle for everything now. It's just so you know, different. I haven't been there since we had to go. Oh, you talking about Sharpstown? It's Plaza de America. Yeah, yeah it's Plaza. Yeah, it's Plaza, Plaza de America. Oh, yeah. I delivered there. I know. <laughs> but, well, but for the people, yeah. But that's the last time I went. That was the never, first time in like a never long going time, back, bro. But I used to Ain't always no go through there when I was young. I mean, I don't know. It just seemed like. I don't know, man. It's, it's weird when we had these conversations about certain areas. We grew up in it, so we didn't understand the danger of yeah. what was going I, I on. I understood Green's here. Point danger. Like, we <laughs> just shouldn't I didn't. There. Even because uh, we had to stay on the north side for a little while. We was just crazy. And I realized how... <laughs> and we didn't understand we was crazy until later on. Like, damn, I was stupid. Like, I, I, I understand. I think that's what it is. Because I'm like, I knew it was dangerous. I knew I shouldn't have been there. I mm-hmm. knew we shouldn't probably be in this area. But Being off of Lockwood, we still did shit like that. Lockwood and like the Calvigate area. Boom. We exactly. stayed around there for a little while. And I used to go running and stuff with my cousin. Just yeah, exactly. Random shit that you... Nowadays, you be like... Hey, let's just go to the mall. Where? No money going to the mall. Yeah. Talk to some females, shit like that, getting fights, um, like just random shit. Alameda Mall wasn't as bad to me. Alameda was cool. Mm-mm. It was. It seemed like it started to get like that later on, and, and by and, later on, I mean once we stopped going there. And that was more so like the skating area of Alameda. <laughs> yeah, it was. It wasn't like because Alameda Mall itself wasn't just terrible. Mm-mm. It was. It was just a bunch of essays out there. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> what? It's it's just funny that we we talk about these 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 areas, and it's crazy because I'm sure every city has like the area that just like do not go. <laughs> yeah, every city, every city got one. has that area. If not three, yeah, multiple. <laughs> where it's just like you know what I'm saying. If you if you have to go there, just make sure you're driving fast. <laughs> like just. <laughs> Go through. If you got to drop somebody off, hey, and drop them off, get the fuck about it. Now, yeah, it's, it's more yeah. like that. Bruh. Yeah. That, like, it's like your senses done caught up. Yeah. You nah. find out real quick in St. Louis when I was going to school out there Ooh. for a dance or whatever. Mm-hmm. So we're in like, what's that place? Called? I heard St. Louis is Rock, wild. Rock Bridge or some bridge, bridge something. I can't remember the name of it. And um, mm-hmm. But it's like right outside of Missouri City, basically. Mm-hmm. Um, And so we uh, have to drive basically into... Um, well, not Missouri City, St. Louis. Um, we had to drive into St. Louis mm-hmm. and uh to get like groceries and random stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then if you not paying attention, you can literally drive into East St. Louis, which is terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's like a third world. Low, it's low key like a third world country. I was like, damn, I ain't never seen like I seen hood, but this is a different type yeah. of hood because right, right, right. it's like abandoned skyscrapers and shit out there, oh, mm-hmm. like big buildings. You'd be like. Yo, like this, like like this is like them crack houses you see on the movies and shit. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and so, uh, coming to and America. you know, when you're from the south, you're not used to seeing those type of like mm. building, structures, like, projects, like actual projects, like, like in New York, that type of stuff. So, mm-hmm. like, I, we went over there. I'm like, whoa, this is different. And I was like, where are we at? 
And and it's because I had my um so we had a room we had to room up with somebody. The my roommate was from Canada, a small town in Canada. Oh boy. He and so he doesn't know it. anything about driving oh, on the freeway. Oh, and so he's like panicking and driving slow. I'm like, nah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take that from you. But he was like, I just wanna try it out, I wanna experience it. And so I'm like, all right, cool. Driving a slow lane. I kept them in the slow right. They drive slower out there than out here. So it was kind of easy. A lot of me. people say that too. Yeah. So it's kind of easy to nah, like drive out there. Here. I'm literally swinging through shit. He's like, damn, you just do this. Like it's, I'm like, bro, it's, yeah. I'm from Houston. Southern. But, mm-hmm. but, uh, we're trying to get to places. Yeah. yeah. And so he's sitting in a slow lane. And then the next thing you know, he's like, I don't know where I'm going. And then we go over this bridge. And um, I see this crackhead dude like pushing a uh, thing with like one shoe on. And he's like rapping to himself. Oh, and then man. I see these ladies pushing. Two ladies, like, just half half clothes off and shit. Like, it was wild. I was like, what the fuck am I? Where are we at? Yeah. Like, we, it was like we went to a whole new city. Like, well, we did, but yeah. a whole new, like, world Just shit. a different part you of it. You hit the... that bridge, it was like it got dark. Everything got dark. <laughs> That's funny. Bro, I swear, I That's felt like I was funny. in a movie. Bro. The weather like, changed. <laughs> because you got skyscrapers also blocking a lot of oh, stuff. True. So it was uh... like, it got darker, like, because of that. And also, like, the vibe was different. So and that's they, the shadow. They all place. start staring at so our truck. Never go. And they were looking at him. He's all, he was white. So, you know, they looking at him like white guy. And it's nothing but black people where we were going. We were mm. at this ratchet ass gas station. Oh boy. And, and I was like, bro, you gotta pull over. We gotta we gotta switch right now. And they were just staring at him. Like uh, they were pushing the uh this it's car so that was guy. flat. And I guess it had no gas. I don't know. I think it was food. <laughs> and then uh it was it was like a bunch of homeless people like sitting over the side, and it was like a abandoned skyscraper over. I was like, yo. I'm yeah. good. Yo, where are we at? Yeah, that <laughs> I know you shouldn't be driving though. Let's move. I yeah. said, get to the other side. He's like, should I get out? I was like, come on, bro, hurry up. <laughs> hurry up. <laughs> Don't bro. even get out. Just let me get out and you just slide over. Yeah. <laughs> so that they we were only around. looking at him. I was like, yo, this is creepy as hell. <laughs> I don't I don't travel to go to the hood. Nah, exactly. Okay. So I was like, people always little school site. It, no it was on accident nothing. too. He, he was like, I didn't I didn't try to go. I was like, it's cool, bro. We about to leave though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like, we good. I'm not about to come riding through somebody else's hood and they be like, GPS, get out your get out your truck. GPS your truck needs some shit. type of uh rating on where you're <laughs> on while you're system. driving. <laughs> like a Yelp rating, yeah, bro. like some Yelp. <laughs> so you can yeah, know. have a red, a yeah, red like, oh, sad oh, face. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let me get a red sad Not face. Red sad. If you in a good area, it'll have a green smiley face. Where it's like gated mean. and stuff. If you're in like a mid area, it was like a, mm. a yellow. Little. Yeah. yeah, yellow. But if you in the hood, when it get orange and red, oh no, we, it's a red. Hey, turn around, my G. Let me, up, let me get up out of here, man. I think we go. Uh, I ain't going to this gas station. <laughs> Facts, bro. Yeah. I, I realized no police. immediately because he went over the bridge and he was about to try to. Uh, he was like, "What can I pull over at?" And I was like, "Just pull over right there and we go get out quick." <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, we are not in our territory, my boy. Mm-hmm. What is your survival skills too? Yeah, yeah, it was me instantly assessing the area because he was like, I'm just pull over. I was like, no, no, keep going, go right there. But that's what we used to do. We used to like them survivor tactics, like mm-hmm. just watching, you know, just paying attention to I your surroundings. It. And he didn't see it. That's the thing. He was just driving. Don't you first. love it when they just be so green? Just they don't oblivious. Really be- like, uh-huh. bro, you don't realize how much danger you in right now. <laughs> nigga, this is uh, you got a five star warning level, nigga. You don't even know it. You just cruising. Bro, they Frozen. turned and started staring at us. It was like a scary movie. Yeah, but nah. you know the craziest thing? Um, oh, you bet. That's where the best food places are. Absolutely. I'm Forch. <laughs> you be like, damn, I got to risk my life to go bro. eat some good food. Bro, you know? it, it's it's always like that. Long ago. I was like, yep. Yeah, it's it's one of those type of things. Like the hood is just it's something about these restaurants not being up to uh, the code that makes the food so. Funny. You know, it got an F plus, but it, 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 it keeps a C in the window. Something you know what I'm saying? That, something it, about that F, man. It's a fire. <laughs> the F is fire. F, F plus a health rating, but it's really a C in the window. They Facts. just they just make sure they pass you enough. Know, yes, sir. <laughs> I'm talking about. Bags, I'm talking bro. about delicious. Go down MLK right now. Mm-hmm. You Give me a chance, boy. Me, boy, the original. Mm-hmm. It's funny, dog, because Nisha, Nisha was telling me something about. She's like, man, I'm tired. Some of these people keep telling me about uh, the best Shipley's is the one uh, in the hood right there, there? Off of MLK. I yep. said, yep. I yep. said and it is. And it I'm is, from the north side. And it is. And I believe that. I said, and it is. It's I some, said, it's something about that Shipley. Specifically. MLK and 610. I don't know what they do to it, bro. bro it's they, different. They, they, they put something in there. They put I in. had Shipley's this morning, bro. And, I did too. And it's like, it's good, but that one? Yeah, it's just different. First bro. of all, niggas be there like four in the morning. They do. They, they I've, I've <laughs> seen they it. They do. They be there 
four for in the sure. morning line, just ready to go before they go to work. That hoe be out into the main streets. Facts, man. And I'm talking about it's something about them donuts, bro. It's they like, be they be on they be on MLK and they be on that little side street. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. The continuation from I think Malmody. I forgot the name of the street. Yeah, I can't. I can say I do appreciate the Shipley's right here though. That lady be hooking me up. Which one? Nah, this one is live. Yeah, the one over uh, here. The one oh, off really? not to say. Mm, I'm that, trying that, that one they, pretty good. <laughs> they they lit. They. Um, I was like, thank you. We got a good one by us. <laughs> Because the last one we had was not that good. She um she kind of cool like I hella cool. You know she she got like a nice energy about her. Like, oh, okay. like why you waiting on your stuff? She'll talk yeah. to you. Know, oh okay. She's I haven't been in that one. I think I always say hey make sure they fresh please. <laughs> Ooh. I swing straight in there. So what she get your order? Uh, six uh six sausage and cheese kolaches. So she already know your order just from bruh. When I was going there, that's when I was going there. Like I had went there like three days in a row. She do be just because she was like just on fire. I don't even it know her name. Hidden. That's crazy. I don't I don't even. <laughs> but I talked to her all the time. She, she Asian. I didn't want to uh-huh. give her a name. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she cool. She, she just started, you know, talking to you. She's like six kolaches. They're like yes, yes. You already know for yeah. sure. So I gotta get the and donut then, holes. I, and I was about to say I get the donut holes for major, mm-hmm. and then I get my then then I get another half a dozen uh, mm-hmm. glaze for the house. Man, yeah. I remember. Uh, going to Dolan, we would get um, well, my mom and them, well, we would miss the bus or something. We was too late for the bus. They would drive me to school and sometimes they'll drive me in the homie and we would go to a donut spot right there mm-hmm. uh, in Hiram Clark. And I'm talking about hidden. It wasn't even a Shipley's. It was just mm-hmm. like one of them little mom and pop donut spots. Mm-hmm. Always it's get always one of those. Rolls. It's yeah. always one, a few of them just around mm-hmm. in they different got a, hoods. They got one shoot in Parallel, like the country mm-hmm. part, though, like the uh, mm-hmm. old side of Parallel, mm-hmm. uh, Billy's Donuts. Where you going, boy? That part? <laughs> Where you going, boy? It's like, you know what's crazy? That part is actually like, what's up, boy? Like, it's like, like a- Like cool racist? It's cool. I used to be racist, wow. but I'm down with it now. <laughs> Uh, wow. It's like it's not no 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 because wow. where you going, boy, happens once you pass where I was at. So where you going, boy, oh, happens that's the south. when you go to Friendswood. When so you get out, yeah, when you get out of where I was, I was in Pearwood. So like that's basically like that. No, really, I really mm-hmm. was like mm-hmm. Pearwood Skate Park. I stayed right there. By that. Mm-hmm. So like he said, "What's up, boy?" <laughs> it's more like, a, "What's up, boy?" What's, what's good? <laughs> and it was cool as hell. So like like a lot of a lot of people was just cool as hell. That like it's it's chill. That's like that area is just they a chill ass area. I ain't gonna even lie. We would we would take the kids there for uh, trick or treating, mm-hmm. um, in that old Pearland, mm-hmm. and they would do it at the park, Independence, I think. Yep. And um, they would just have all kind of free stuff. They oh, kids yeah. go from table to table, and then they do the parade, the Christmas parade. Mm. And we'll go and be like, oh, let the kids come over here. I'm like, man, you guys are like, <laughs> y'all pretty cool. I love it. <laughs> nah, for real. That that area is just, it was just like that. I wish I could do that on like MLK or something though. Like, wow, bro, safely. That's the hood. Bro. Like, cause I haven't been to the, um, remember the, uh, the parade? You haven't been to the MLK parade in a while? Man. Yeah. Did I'm you, talking about no, the one that you go to that. MLK. Yeah. Uh, after the Kappa, not even the oh. Martin Luther King. Oh, oh. Remember after the Kappa, oh. that, that Sunday. It's like slab. Yeah. Slab yeah. Sunday, whatever. Bro, mm-hmm. that shit used to be live as hell. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah. then it started getting live as hell. Yeah, it started start getting, getting too live. live. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, and it'd be later, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think I want to be out to here. to the point where people shooting for no reason. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't understand why y'all shooting. The I'm daytime mad because is live. I'm mad. And yeah. I mean, that was the one time where it was just a bunch of black people, and we and all just It was fun. cool. By that park. By that park all the way up. Uh, I've never been to any of them. I, I, it was I, all I the way down. By, yeah, it was I, all the way down MLK. Yeah. All I got to do was see videos. Man, bro, I wish I had some foot. I had some pictures in my old, old, old phone. Yeah, but um, just seeing different cars and stuff. My brother in law used to take. Like me I, I seen, you know, you know, they do like random slabs because I got family that has slabs and mm-hmm. shit. So like they'll, you know, like I got a cousin that does like the. I don't know if you ever seen like the green lines. Mm-hmm. Green line, like candy that. green, and most of them is my family. So you will most likely see somebody that I know in some way. You probably mm-hmm. be like, oh, you talk to them, not even know. Yeah, you know, yeah. most likely in some connection with them. Yeah, I had that, North, and North then the purple, and then a lot of the pur- and then a lot of the purple, uh, like the purple chargers and stuff. <laughs> mm-hmm. Did you see a lot of the people? I mean, looking like damn, where these it come from? I they just pop up. Ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they well, pop up out of nowhere. Yeah. You don't even know what teal is. How you? <laughs> it's a teal line. Oh, that's the teal line. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> we just learned that was a color like two years ago. What you talking about? But now nah, that hey. Going on about some Houston tradition. If you're from definitely Houston, some culture you stuff. should you should have you'll appreciate this part. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. There's definitely some Houston stuff. But nah, man, uh, you did have some 
interesting things that uh, happened. Uh, I guess we're going to go with Young Thug. Yep, Young Thug is Young Thugging. (laughs) I don't... See, just... Go ahead. All right, all right. Let's get into it first. Young Thug. I just thought about that. Young (laughs) Thug, he's Young Thugging, bro. He Uh, really did that. (laughs) So, apparently... uh, the rapper Young Thug handed uh, handed Percocet in a courtroom drug deal caught on video by prosecutors. See, and it's on video. It's on bro. video. And you got this is caught. This is why I'm I'm confused on all of this shit because it was it was so stupid. Like it was. I ain't even see the damn video, bro. The dude. I'm Young Thug. Dude's behind me walking up to my damn shoulder. Mm -hmm. He comes up, taps him on the shoulder, hands him something in front of everybody. In front of everybody, bro. I'm like, is this a setup? Like, in my head, I'm thinking he he was getting set up and he handed him something. And the young thug's like, what is this? He's like, what? Like, why why did you just give me that type thing? That's how I thought, like, in my head. I'm like, you're not that stupid. Like, you're not this stupid, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Apparently, right. that was a lot of people's reaction. I seen, right. I seen all the commentary on Twitter. I'm going to just mm-hmm. hope it was a setup and just say that because there's no possible way he... No. Nope. Well, that could be like a legit... Well, apparently, the motion said Young Thug <laughs> tried to conceal his hand under the table. Oh, Sheriff's no. deputies took the painkiller and searched Adams, who, resist, uh, who resisted. He was taken to uh, Grady Memorial Hospital after he appeared he to ingest... To- Yep. Other items of the contraband that he held in his person in effort to conceal the extent of his crimes within the courtroom. See, that's the part that kills me even more. I'm like, you just like the person that was trying to exactly, yeah, try. But to- I'm like, see, I got a lot of weird conspiracies with this because I'm like, it's so stupid to me. There's no way that, that this is what that. y'all did. Yeah, like you didn't just hand him these drugs. I feel like you did this. Gave it to him. He was like, wait, what? Why did you give it? Well, let me just cover it up. Hopefully they didn't see it type thing. Oh, and then um, then the dude tried to walk out and then they caught, they grabbed him. And then at that time, he didn't ingest anything. What they did was they made him ingest it. And <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just started thinking of all kinds of random shit. Oh, I'm like, there's no way out this dumb. I'm just, I, I refuse to believe you this dumb. And I'm sorry. This okay. nigga, this first thing I see, if Amber Heard can snort coke in court, uh, snort coke in court, let Young Thug have a perk. How stupid, bro. During the search Why? of Adams, the deputy found Percocet, marijuana, tobacco, and other contraband tobacco? wrapped, tobacco. <laughs> wrapped tobacco. in plas- uh, plastic and food seasoning to mask the odor of the marijuana. Okay, so nah, he was the stupid. He, he had the stupid. food seasoning. Nah, he was the stupid. <laughs> he was the fucking... Zatarain. Hey, hey, pull up, the, Zatarain, pull up to the court bro. and give me the perks, man. I need them perks. Not the he had the Zatarain. He, he had to phone him and ask him to get the perks. Or something. I don't understand. Like, I, what? I just, it's just one of those things where it's I don't like get that. Like when it happened and you see it on the video, the officer comes up to him and he immediately yeah, he hands immediately, it over. Oh my god! It, I'm watching it now. That shit look dumb as hell. It's it's it just makes no sense. Like you can't make this up. And it then, wasn't no hiding. It that's why I'm no like, maybe this was some kind of grand scheme plan. I want it to be. Please. Well, it's, it's please be. It kind of goes to the please the, believe me. The the point that I think we we have a problem within the hip hop community is the the addiction to drugs, bro. Because this is not the first time this whole case. That someone tried to smuggle in drugs. It happened with Gunner, with the nurse. With the nurse trying she to... She tried uh, to... When he himself. originally got arrested, the nurse was trying to smuggle in uh, uh, some drugs and pills. You put your, your license and everything in And they in found out and not she lost her job and she's in jail. So he was like, fuck it. Since I couldn't do it hidden, I'm going to do it in plain sight. I, don't, I just... That's the way to do it. And I, I think <laughs> the problem it, with... These rappers that obviously they, they they glorify it, <laughs> but they can't they can't help themselves, bro. It's like they need the fix, and they, that's the th- that's the that problem. That is definitely court. the problem with right now. You in court, fam. You trying to you're trying to prove your case and, of and morality. All you're doing is proving theirs. Mm-hmm. And no, you said and, this and nigga definitely did it. that addiction that addiction is crazy because mm-hmm. rappers then back then was like more so talking about just selling them, not doing them. But they now wouldn't they wasn't the actual gang. I mean, they weren't the you know they were affiliated, mm-hmm. but they weren't the ones that was actually in the streets. Now yeah. it's like the rappers are the street niggas. Yeah. 
They mm-hmm. are, and they also doing the drugs. And they're yeah, doing, they doing the yeah, drugs. And they rapping about it. All I got to do is go say, hell, okay, you did what? He's like, oh, oh you want to see who can be real? January be 20th, you said, and I quote, pop mm-hmm. a perk, pop a perk. Put mm-hmm. it in the dirt. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, bro. What's and that's, that's the part. They that's reading this shit like Dr. Seuss books. That's what the issue is, because it's like, people want to always one-up each other. So like, their real is like being more street or more gangster or whatever mm-hmm. than the last person. So now they're like, I can do better than that. I can do the drugs. <clears throat> Thanks. And I can shoot the person. Like, yeah, what? Yeah. Like, why yeah, is no, that? Good. I'm not trying to... Why is I'm that not real to, to you? Jail. I don't know what it is. What's in jail? Something must be in jail that's like... I, I don't get it. I don't something. want no metal. I seen that damn no, Drewski skit. No hard Oh, yeah, bed. I saw that. <laughs> you, you seen Drewski skit where he said, this is how niggas be acting in jail. We trying to make it like you want to go there. Mm-hmm. Like he he is stupid. <laughs> but it's so goddamn accurate. It's, mm-hmm. it's one of the niggas accurate, I'm sure. cooking on a, you know, the bed when they, they took the mattress off and they had that the little, iron Oh, bed I have they, seen that when mm-hmm. he's cooking through like cooking the, uh, the metal. And they had like some yeah. rice. Or, I'm like, dog, come on, man. But I mean, that's how they make it. And then that's they how we rapping. get down in here. You be like, God. Let damn. me not get on the rapping part. Yeah. And I, I, it, it really you just, know. Yeah, <laughs> or on that little beat with the pencil or, yeah. or whatever, because they can't have nothing sharp. Yeah, it, it's just crazy. It, I think his addiction or his need to have it outweighed the judgment of like, yo, you, you, yeah, you in you in your court life. right now, bro. Yo, <laughs> you, your life really depends on you trying to uh, portray uh, this upstanding citizen morale, and you completely failed that. <laughs> that's, that's the only thing I think it could be though, like just. Him being addicted to it. Yeah, I think so, bro. Because yeah. I they they really people don't even realize it, but a lot of these rappers they really are addicted to the shit, bro. Mm-hmm. It's not even it's not even a joke. They really, you know, we we've seen it. You know, unfortunately, Xbox. <laughs> we've seen it. I was wondering, like, is there Xbox going on? What's going on? Xbox but we, app, man. we we've seen it with things. like you know, for example, Juice World. He he said in the interview like. He was inspired by Future, and that Future at the time was only really just talking about drugs, lean, and all the perky sets and all this other stuff. Perky man, you know, and he's stupid, and that was kind of what influenced him and, doing and stuff and Gucci flip flops and doing things uh, like taking those type of drugs. You know, kind of molded his musical uh, Perky, musical Perky, career Perky. as well. So it just it really does suck because it's it's been glorified. It's to the point where. Now it's a, it's deemed as cool if you popping all these pills and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. at the end of the day, people don't even realize the addictive side of that. You can't just a lot of times you can't just all right, I'm done. Mm-hmm. Nah, it, you your body is now used to it. It's starting to fiend for it. So if you're in a situation you get locked up. Nobody gonna be able to really go cold turkey. You gotta go cold turkey, gotta go cold gotta, turkey. and I can only him. imagine. Crazy. He probably you know what I'm saying it. Possibly having some withdrawals, and he just, I don't know, maybe talk to the dude outside and may. That's like, how people was on lean. True. True. Like lean. Mm hmm. This is, this is very true, bro. It's, it's. They made it look like it was so good. Yeah, they made it yeah, seem like people. it was the cool thing to drink. And then people start having seizures. People start dying from it. And even then, motherfuckers still do it because niggas don't care. <laughs> niggas don't care, bro. Tariq so. did it in the. Uh, Power. Yep. Yeah. And it's, and it's like, nah, bro. I I, I like Sucker. I'm all for, you know, do what you, do what you like, but at the same time, it just know it comes with consequences. And this is one of the consequences, unfortunately, for young thug. I don't know if they're gonna obviously this is probably not gonna be a good look for him when it's trying yeah, to nah, nah. <laughs> trying to convince other people that you're an upstanding citizen, you actively take a drug and then oh here you go, officer. I don't I don't know what's going on. Because in their mind, you don't care. Yeah. You don't like, care that much mm-hmm. that you didn't even try to. Oh, this motherfucker think we. All right. <laughs> yeah. Send us this man right now. Well, what, 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 where's Pusha P at? Come here, good. Pusha P. Come here, good. How y'all see, feel about everybody? How y'all feel about everybody unfollowing him? Oh, so apparently Lil Dirk, he had a little snippet and he kind of took a shot at him. And then now Lil Baby and Meek Mill. All of a sudden, started following, and I'm sure other people started following him. But the interesting thing about that, and I'm glad you brought that up, is kind of it's kind of sus how boys would like sit up there, even though it, 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 bro, let's call a spade a spade. My nigga, my nigga was spade. He he definitely snitched. You know what I'm saying? There's no way around that. Yeah. People were passive about it. They were trying to 
make excuses. People didn't outwardly just say, like a lot of artists that he worked with, they didn't mm-hmm. outwardly just say, I am fucking with Young Gunner. And that's because obviously they like Gunner and they rock with his music. So it's that bias. You know what I'm saying? It's that complete bias in the situation of like, well, he did do exactly what you rappers claim that's not cool, but you're not saying it until another popular rapper says something about it. Yeah. Now it's like, all right, well, I got to unfollow you because Lil Durk said something and Lil Baby unfollowed you. So now I got to unfollow you. Oh, you think you think they all got something behind the scenes? What do you mean? Because I think they were waiting on Young Thug to confirm whether- You said yeah. Lil Baby unfollowed him too? Mm-hmm. Lil Baby Damn. unfollowed him. Yeah. It I was, think they probably was waiting to get- some More type of confirmation, that, but at the end of the day, let's, let's. I mean, he did the same thing as Six Nine. The only difference is people, people don't like Six Nine. People don't like Six Nine, and then Six Nine also admitted that he did it. Yeah, kind of didn't admit, and then he also uh, people like him. It's very loved. Yeah, it's very loved. So people it's that like Six Nine too. No, that's obviously he we're went, talking about the the media based like on the, the latest numbers. They don't. Well, before <laughs> I'm saying before he started trolling. I don't even know for sure if they liked him. They liked the the act antics. Of him. The antics. They like the antics. That's really what But he was. started tro- six nine would have been straight if he wouldn't have been doing all that trolling but shit. That, the and trolling him, trolling that, tro- people that negativity. Was, that's what got him. Don't get you nothing but negativity. Really? Yes. The trolling bro, he, when he, he was only doing re- that song. Bro, bro, the only reason why he did the goat the rainbow hair because he knew it was it, it, it would one grab attention and two people were gonna hate it. And then he knew obviously other people like the youth. Like, oh man, we we fuck with this. You know, we what like I'm rebellion. But that's yeah. why I feel like if he would have just kept down that lane, and just I mean, just like well, Lil Pump is a bad example. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will say, but Lil Pump tried to go at J Cole. Yeah, and his music was about as yeah, it was just like for that time period. That's I about can't it. even think of his song to be honest. Gucci, Gucci gang, Gucci, Gucci gang, 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 Gucci yeah, I think he got what is it a court order for him to be off social media for real? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, little pump, what'd he do? I wouldn't know. I mean, I don't really care, but still, <laughs> but not nah, to your point. Uh, what worked with him at the time, once again, is the trolling because people 100%. wanted it. He was surrounded by niggas mm-hmm. in the gang. Uh, what was they called? Fucking uh. Oh, I forgot. Treyway. You know, Treyway this, Treyway that. And they were like, oh shit, look at this. Nobody, nobody really uh pressing him. He going to everybody's city. He he doing this and doing that. Like he really pulling it was these built rappers off car. Of a bunch of negativity. Yeah. Yeah, people not, always a lot of people were pulling up because they wanted to see if he would actually get checked a lot of times. They used to talk about that all the time. That was like the big thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was like a, will somebody do something to him this time? No. Well, let's buy his tickets because he keeps doing stupid stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then when it when it's that only goes to so same, far yeah. when it compares to Gunna, his music is actually pretty good. I, mean, I, I like I like him. Uh, yeah, all the money, you know what I'm saying? He got some good music. A lot of people in the industry rock with him, so that's why that bias of well, we gonna wait till somebody say something Let's make or sure whatever. He snitched. But at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, when he you told. Yeah, bro. There's there's really no way around that, bro. What if, and I okay, was definitely trying to help him out. Advocate. What if he didn't know those things were in the car? What are you talking about? Like to ask him about the drugs and the, the weapon. If he didn't know, then you should just say, I don't know. Yep. That, that's that's really simple. You're ready. But, You're ready. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, if I don't know you've been, anything. You've been down this road before. <laughs> if I don't know anything, and I'm going to just... Put this into uh, to perspective. Let's not it, act like some homies ain't ain't fake for putting you in a dirty situation. And and that's and that's true. There's there's that side of it too. But I can also tell you, if you line yourself with Young Thug and and what he was about, you, you had to have known what he was into. You because right. <clears throat> obviously everyone knew that it wasn't even just like no. Like, no small situation. Like, niggas knew, like, behind the scenes, outside the music stuff, he was in some street-involved activity. Like, that, that was allegedly. But, you know, <laughs> niggas got documents and shit of all that. But, cool. it's, but it's one of those things nowhere. where it's like... How do you know this? You know, well, niggas... <laughs> on the see podcasts? Niggas done documentaries and all this shit. This shit's all on YouTube, too. Boy, YouTubers mm-hmm. out here. Bro. No. Man, social media becoming investigators well, quick. That's why they court ordered the academics to come in for uh, what was it, the case of uh, X Tentacion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
the like, dude trying to get Drake and all these people to come and uh, mm-hmm. testify. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 just one of those things where it's like people people care about their image and their perception so much that they'll sit up there and hide how they truly feel about a situation. Of course. Just in case there's a of potential I talk about of making some money or whatever the situation is. Because at the end of the day, bro, a lot of them people, they probably felt like he snitched, but because they cool with him, uh, we don't want to say nothing. But now... They want to just come out. Now is what... Well, if Lil Baby said it, or Lil Baby unfollow him, I'm going to unfollow him. Or Dirk and all uh, I'm going to unfollow him. We got to hit with another Sorry, y'all. alert. Sorry, y'all. Um... Nah, it's I just, think apparently it's, Dirk had a was gonna do a feature with um my man from the uh oh you talking about uh bug what's his name uh um spot him got him spot him got him I mm-hmm. said bug where they come from uh, spot him got him yeah and apparently he rejected it and he sent him a hundred k for the the um mm-hmm. the feature and then apparently I believe Dirk found out that the dude told. Yeah, in a, cooperate. In a case before when mm-hmm. he was younger, mm-hmm. and he sent his hundred k back. Yeah, <laughs> he, he said, "Nah, I'm don't, good, don't, even, I'm good on it." And some people live by that code, and that's mm-hmm. if they want to live but by I mean, that. That's the life they 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 were in. They 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 live by their their life. Yeah, yeah, they they live by that code. So I can't knock him for like, hey, well, if you if there's even reports of you saying something, I kind of I kind of got to distance myself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And and that's just what it is. You know, um, and it's crazy uh, that you brought that up. Apparently, recently, uh, the FBI, you know, the FBI been looking into the King Von situation with FBG Duck. Uh, they have been doing that for years, and before he, uh, King Von died, they were they were really trying to get this nigga. Like, oh, they, Von was definitely about. Uh, to get yeah, out. he was about to go to jail. Or uh, they were they were the building list of a case. bodies he's, he had. Based mm-hmm. on like so much shit. Yeah, nah. They, it, it it was like nah. If they were the infamous me, we got them, boys. Yeah. They were about to get them, but unfortunately, other things happened. You know, so they weren't able to. But uh, the FBI released documents alleging King Von put out a hundred k hit on FBG Duck. And if you don't know, you know, obviously they had they, that beef was fucking just ridiculous. Like it's pretty much someone killing somebody on on one side. I'm smoking your pack and vice versa. It got to Constantly. the point. It got to the point where um, they were at a busy shopping center. Busy, busy shopping center. And it was uh, one, a nice one. Yeah, it was a nice one where like the rich white folks go to and they pulled up. It was green on my thing when I was driving through there. <laughs> yeah, it was yes. definitely green. Definitely this a was a green. Face with up. Mm-hmm. This was a green smiley face area. And dude, they hopped out and they unloaded. In, in broad daylight and apparently the FBI are saying because they got the people that were involved mm-hmm. and it's crazy how that case even got to the point where it was because obviously FBG uh, FBG uh, mom was uh, you know very adamant because you know they were all King Von was oh yeah we smoking on a duck pack all this other stuff and you know she was really adamant about you know her son's death and, and how they're pretty much just mocking it mocking him or whatever and it was people in the YouTube People in the YouTube community watching stories, watching IG stories, putting it together, bro. Like I'm, I'm talking about niggas talking about shit. I don't know what happened to them, but shit, we smoking on them. And then certain mm-hmm. people, obviously, when it happened, King Von gave them like jewelry. Like certain people, like he gave like over fifty thousand dollars, hundred thousand dollars worth in jewelry. So niggas is just piecing it together, and they're hopping on live. Everyone talking about smoking on the duck pack, all this other stuff, and it comes to find out that potentially he was part of that hit. And I, the reason why I bring this up because it all comes back to how, how this hip hop game is is definitely changed, not for the better. At a lot of times, people still glorify and still. You know what I'm saying? Glorify his music and what he was saying mm-hmm. because they like him. It, it's it's as simple as we know this nigga out here killing people, trash. killing you know what I'm saying, causing some chaos. But we like his music, and it's something, and it's also something about authenticity. Yeah, so it's like, real because that's for me and as well. Like if I'm going to listen to something, I prefer it to be real. Of course, of course, even if it is. Probably some glorifying of negativity, mm-hmm. but if it's gonna be that, I would prefer it to be real. Because yeah. let's say you're talking about all this stuff, and then we find out your, you know, yeah. gun yeah. situation. You're mm-hmm. like, this don't really hit the same. It don't hit, the and same. that's just kind of just emotions towards that in general. <laughs> right. mm-hmm. um, that's true. That's why I like some of the top artists we like. 
Like yeah, and that's Cole. why people love yeah. J. Cole is, is relatable. That's why people yeah. love King, King Von. Because like he really was doing these he things. He really mm-hmm. was out here doing the things. But at the same and telling time. Telling stories about it. And telling yeah. stories. The full story. The full story. <laughs> but at the same time, you gotta think about the family members. Facts, you do. Man. And you gotta think, think about, about if it was lo- somebody in your family. Mm-hmm. Think yep. about if it was a cousin that was just he's rapping wrong place, wrong family. time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or they caught a stray bullet. Yeah. So let's not act like bullets got names on them. Yeah, you, you can don't. aim for somebody, but bullets, you know, you don't none of these people are trained professionals. Oh. I've seen too many clips of niggas shooting at point blank range and missing. And yep. it's just, just. I have a whole situation with uh, Takeoff. You know, rest peace yeah, to him. Yeah, rest like, to him, bro. Rest peace to him. Nobody has combat training. And it, it, it's just crazy, bro, because it's like we'll sit up here and we'll, we'll want, we want quote unquote change, but do we really? Do you do you really That's want the change question. that you say you want? Because if you do, toxicity reigns. Of course, it it reigns. It sells. You know, what I'm saying it's it's one of those things where people like you would think like if I make it out the hood, bro, I'm trying to get as furthest away from the hood. <laughs> like I'm talking about. I know. I said I wasn't gonna be one of them niggas when I get some money to leave. But as soon as I got my check. I was gone. Nah, bro. You <laughs> gotta fucking leave. You don't know bro. what that's from. <laughs> you, man. I'm nah, sorry. A paraphrase, but <laughs> nah, y'all yeah. get the point. Nah, bro. I, there ain't I'm no, out. This gated community, and you gotta talk to the person that's there 24 7 before you even come in. Family talk about me now. Oh, man, you don't ever come. For what? For why? Let me see what? your ID, what? sir. What am I doing? Yeah, bro. Like, nah, what you over here You're for? You're not on the list. <laughs> yeah. What you over here for? Turn them around. Well, I'm hey, gonna eat my popcorn. Looking hey, at you. Hey, mama, I told I you to call me before you came yeah. up here. Nah. Uh-huh. <laughs> we'll have to come tomorrow, mama. Nah, not, I know. Not the mama. <laughs> mama look, look. I told Give me a 30 you, minute warning. I told you to call me first because, before you come up. I got to let security know before you come in. Mm-hmm, yeah. Now. Go ahead, mama. I'm going to I'm out there see you tomorrow. <laughs> I, I'll send you some gas money. I'm sorry. I didn't know sorry, you mama. was coming. It's the, it's the rules. It's the rules, bro. It's just crazy how uh, celebrities, like, do all these lives and stuff and do dumb glorif- glorification of certain things. Smoking mm-hmm. on packs. Sm- smoking packs, smoking drugs, doing drugs mm-hmm. on the live and stuff like that. Showing the guns. And forget that these fans are, are fans, meaning like fanatics. Yeah. Meaning they're recording they influence your too. lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They recorded. Nine times out of ten, your live is recorded. Yeah. As a celebrity. That's and just- and for those that don't necessarily have a, a figure in their house as yeah. a role mm-hmm. model, that is um, theirs. And you're the role model. Even even when you have what? Thought I heard something playing. But even when you have <laughs> those, I went into dad mode Stop real quick. quick. Huh? Don't you do that? Oh yeah. Like, hey. Huh? Hey. <laughs> hey. What you doing over there? We were just talking about that at work. I was like, is that a- <laughs> To the truck. I said, Get that truck out of my garage. <laughs> you be like, yeah, how I you know major that? playing the game in one room. I'm sitting in another room watching something. What was that noise? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. Speak, speak up. Say something. But now, <laughs> just say um, something. Let me know you're alive. <laughs> for sure. But now, like, even when you do have somebody in the house, you always have that influence from someone that you kind of, like, look up to, mm-hmm. you know, outside your household. Them not knowing, like, bro, these kids seeing that, and they think this is okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They think it's okay to put themselves in certain situations because, oh, so-and-so did it, or so-and-so was a gangster. So-and-so, you know, especially now with this whole... You know, even with like pranks, like your favorite, influ- I, I take that serious because that shit, you can't get away with that in some neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. You know, some pranks people play on a, you don't know what a person just yeah, went through that time, day. What they what, time what's frame. going on? Are you going around playing? That's dangerous. Mm-hmm. Hella dangerous. Hella like, dangerous, it's bro. just, and sometimes people don't subscribe to that. Oh, I'm just playing, bro. We on YouTube. Oh, bro, you finna be on the shirt. Speaking yeah. of that, I watched. Um, so this is guy we react to, Car- Carnell Joseph. Mm-hmm. Dude, mm-hmm. he does some he does some outrageous pranks, and he does it to people that don't know it's coming. Of course, he's not one of those fake pranks. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. it top? Is it like top notch? Yes. <laughs> said, yes. The thing I, is, I pray for them. Top notch. They've been video. crazy for years. Um, I pray for them. The thing time. about Cardell is he does this thing where he starts playing victim. Like straight victim if somebody like tries to attack or mm-hmm. goes at them type thing, and, and so that'll piss you off more too. Yeah, it it, it gets kind of cringy. You like that's kind of cringy. Yeah, don't do that. Um, he 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 was going up to people in the in the airport saying that's my luggage basically, like <laughs> telling people it's their luggage or whatever. Bro. And then this this dude this white dude he was like, 
don't you touch my luggage. And then, uh, <laughs> basically, and he, he yeah, and, and he, that's all he needed to that say. That's all he needed to say. That having a day he because clearly, yes. he just started grabbing this, grabbing Cornell's hair like because he had like dreads. He's just grabbing his hair the whole time, like drag, damn near dragging him. Damn. I think I've seen that. I think I may have seen. Oh that, yeah, he he earned that. But then he was like, "This dude was grabbing my hair." Yeah, I think I'm I like, did oh, see now that. Now you all saw. Yeah, bro. I now think he, I did see now, that. Now all of a sudden he's just grabbing he, his hair and attacking. He just assaulted me. Was he laying down like the guy? Or maybe that's another clip because I saw a guy that was laying down in the air. No, he was laying down in the airport sleep, and then the guy pranking him sat on him. He sat on him while he was laying down. I didn't even watch the whole video. I just watched that clip. That bro, when I say that nigga, the dude was laying down. Yeah, you know, like you on a layover, so you just just laying down chilling, chilling. So and then the dude that's pranking him sat on him. What the the dude dude looked like? He was a white guy, bro. When I said, Nah, it was a black dude. Oh, okay, okay. Black what? dude with dreads. A white dude sat on another white guy. No, the, a white dude was laying down. The black guy sat on him. Bro, oh, when oh, I the black s- guy sat on him. Yeah. What the I, black dude look like? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't remember uh exactly, but I just remember him getting up and all hell broke loose. <laughs> but when I say I, I wasn't mad at the guy that was laying there because obviously he probably tired. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you then you just have a random. Mean. Motherfucker just sit on you. Like, actually just... He did that. Yeah, I'm whooping Bro, I'm like, it was nothing. Oh, it's a prank. Nah, he, he didn't so, care. I don't give a damn about no prank. prank I just woke that, up, my boy. Like, nah, nah, bro. You sit on me. And that's the worst. When you're just waking up. Oh, I'm ready to swing on anything. Nah, I don't bro. know. <laughs> I'm not in my mind yet. No. Yeah. Sometimes, that's why they say, wake up in the morning, yeah. meditate, mm-hmm. go drink some water, go stretch, yeah, do yeah, some yeah, yoga. Yeah. You get to your mind. You're getting yourself, hey, this yeah. is the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, here yeah. now. But you just getting woken up to some shit. Bro. And imagine you just falling asleep. You're tired. You got to wait for the next good, That's that good first few minutes, Boy, too. That I'm that talking about he had, to, he had to, this going. That, oh, you in it. And you then in it. Uh, just grown ass man. Just, bro. I, that made me want to swing now. Bro, nah, that, when I watched it, I was like, you know what? You deserve it. <laughs> you deserve what's coming your way. I'll choke the shit out of him. Bro, bro. that nigga was trying to kill him. And he was like, bro, it's a prank. It's a prank. Chill, bro. I'm like, what the fuck's wrong with you? It was an older oh, way. He wouldn't have been able to talk. I'm pretty I would, sure. I would have put him, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I would have put him in one of them. <laughs> and then he put him in one of them. It was just a prank. The dude was just attacking me. He's pulling my dress. He started your pulling mom. my hair. Calm for your mom. Bro, once, once you get in one of these, I'm yeah. not letting go. <laughs> so let him go. He can't breathe. Uh, don't give a damn. <sighs> and you, you can't get out. And you can't talk. So now you can't explain to me what you're doing. Lick his head. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss him on the yeah. Uh huh. You out of here now? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go oh, night, it's a prank. Night, 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 it's night. a prank. Put, put, put this on YouTube. Put this on YouTube. Put this on YouTube. Right to sleep. <laughs> Remember this before when you wake up. Mm-hmm. You be somewhere else. I'm gonna wake you up by sitting on you, nigga. <laughs> wake you up. Wake up, nigga. Yeah. Nah. Splashing man. with some water. Yeah. No. Nah, got a light man. in the room. It's all dark and it's just a light swinging in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we could nah. prank you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to prank, huh? You sliding a sword on the nah, ground. He was not. Oh. Having I watched too it. many movies, bro. <laughs> he mixed I'm up so many off. movies just now. <laughs> I went from baby boy to <laughs> sliding the sword on the ground, put him in a fucking him. interrogation room <laughs> to, to take, take him to <laughs> I have yeah. a set of skills. <laughs> and you just open them up. <laughs> hey, man. I was just minding my business. I will find you. Yeah, bro. Yeah, nah. <laughs> don't the places you don't want to mess with people at is at the airport because niggas are trying to get to point A to point B. They on a mission. Places, and then you don't places, know where they from, bro. They, you don't. That could be a New Yorker, and the New Yorkers be be upset for nothing. They be ready. They be mad tight, B, for no reason. Mm-hmm. Tight, <laughs> tight. Um, <laughs> don't play with people nowhere. Yeah, you, nowhere. You should not at the grocery store. Nah, don't. don't not do walking that. down the street. You don't know what they're going through. Not nah. pranks in the hood. No, none of it. Mm-mm. Just none, bro. No. The no type. Way. The type of people now is just on a different type. Yeah, bro. They're people. Different time. People will react first and think later. The one <laughs> thing. The one thing I do like is when people do the. Uh, if you need a hug. I like those free hugs. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. like, see, why it can't be more like? But sometimes people need that. Yeah, sometimes you Come need on, to bring just it in, bring it in. All right, you need that hug, man. Be feeling it, good, man. You're yeah, not doing you need, no weird you, need stuff. Some, you need some positive, positive vibes. You make, you know, people be going through stuff. We all go through stuff. Sometimes sure, that hug or that, you know, what I'm saying that that acknowledgement could mm-hmm. brighten up the day. Like, hey, bro, you know, what I'm saying like the kicks. I've 
I've seen that and I've done that before. I've seen someone with some cool kids. Hey, bite the kids. Oh, appreciate it, bro. You know, it's just something and simple. That, that shows you how much I seen that with a dude and he had a car. Uh, mm-hmm. um, hey, what's that car? The uh, We was thinking about renting them. Slingshot. Slingshot. Mm-hmm. He had a slingshot and he customized it. Mm-hmm. Getting in my truck. I'm like, hey, bro, that, that, uh, that, that's live, bro. Mm-hmm. It's dope. Loving and- that. And that hey, he appreciate it. And you know, one yeah. of them dudes. And make you up make yeah. we, both, we both we both leave in a barbershop. And if you don't know somebody, you doing that, you know, we in the hood. So it's just like Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. just trying to check to make sure everybody yeah. on the right temperature. Especially mm-hmm. the people that look like they you really in a certain really, lifestyle. You really loosen some people up real yeah, quick. And like he, I mean, it's like he, it's like, ah man, yeah. He's like, oh, hey, I yours can is live to you. too, man. Yeah, yeah. That's when you said. get the, when the, I can actually talk to you. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You're not like mad. He was like, look what you in. I said, hey, like, bro. I said, hey, we doing our thing, man. And then we just I, I be thinking about there. that all the time. I'm like, why we gotta walk around <clears> angry? Like, nah, we don't, bro. It's like, it's almost like a protective. And yeah. We naturally have that yourself. in our community. Like, it's like a natural defense, like. But yeah. as soon as and someone it, breaks that defense with some positivity, like, it be like, hey, what's up, man? That's why I always felt like the barbershop was that place. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Because people was able to just be in there talking shit. Mm-hmm. It's the one place where everybody kind of mutually agrees on certain things. Mm-hmm. Even when you disagreeing, it's, it's just dope conversation. It's, still it's like vibes. The, yeah. the one place you know you can go to where we shouldn't be on that type of energy. I don't agree with you for shit. I'm talking about we loud as hell, yeah. but we know it's just off of good conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You so... You know, into what you believe, and he's so you know into what he believe in. Everybody just oh no, tall just, Brady got the blah 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 yeah, blah, no, blah, oh, blah. Don't blah. get sports. <laughs> oh, it's gonna go. It's Sometimes gonna take your, off. your haircut may be longer because the, the ball's <laughs> gonna get involved. It'll you know? it'll take off for a while, and then a woman walk in and be like. And I love the women. <laughs> like, everybody get quiet, quiet in there. Bro. Bro. I will <laughs> say for women, the women that do that are smart. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, they are smart, and it's usually they, when they sell something. They coming in with some cookies, some little tea cakes. Yup. Um, they 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 know what they doing, bro, and they put on that fit, mm-hmm. that little extra fit. Mm-hmm. Know how to make that money, and they yeah. come in there, and the boys just be trying to buy some. Just uh, you got change for a hundred, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, then well, you were about to use that hundred for that fucking yeah. haircut, nigga. Hey, boy, you put that that's, shit your, up, that's the grocery money, John. nigga. You better chill out for your wife. Find out and everybody, what everybody in there be on the same. Mm-hmm. It's like niggas connect, and then as soon as she leave, boy, yeah. Yeah. boy yeah. Hey, you see it? No, you see She knew what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. She rolled my pinky when I gave her that money. Too. Sister Johnson was looking good. Bro, <laughs> not the pinky. I'm trying to tell you, man. She know what it is. Mm-hmm. And I did. I like, swear. And I did. I saw her at church. I saw her church on Sunday, man. <laughs> she had a beautiful. Should have seen what she had on that. Yeah. Yeah. Should have seen what she had on Saturday night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She know how to change it up. <laughs> Every time, bro. I swear. Every single time. Man. And then the barber, I like how the bro, my barber used to uh turn me around. Let you oh, see. Oh, yo, yo, turn around and he'll see so he'll tap me. He was like, bro, he was like, look at that. He'll look turn me around. Just like that. Like, and you my got, barber used to do the you same thing. You get full thing. access to look because you just get you in your chair. You, just you can only chair. look straight. You can only look straight. Man, that boy, he would turn you right. Right. He'll turn you with in the right angle. Like, yeah, look, 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 look. We're gonna edge you up this way. Yeah. Where that go? We gonna edge you. Up. Yep, oh, yep. Hey, man, you getting, a real one, bro. Getting that yeah. fresh on, edge up for the weekend, man. You know. <laughs> but yeah, anywho, man. Hey, I enjoyed the pod, man. Of course, of course, of course. A lot of dope every conversations. Time. Um, every time, every time, every some time. Some good energy, bro. We always trying to put dope, positive energy out there, man. Again, like I said. There's a lot going on in the world. Mm-hmm. Trying not to add towards more of the negativity. No, we just giving man. our opinions on things. But at the end of the day, we just want to spread love. This world need more love. A, a little bit of love. less caring about people's drama. A little bit more love. Yeah, of you know course. what I'm saying. Just especially on social media, it's not a real place. So it's you, not. You it's, lock your phone and put it down. Imagination. And go outside. Hey, that's low key. Was you think SpongeBob was ahead of their time with that episode? Bro, yeah, SpongeBob yeah. was ahead we're of their really time in the box. So many episodes. So many episodes. Because we're really in a box. There's a lot going on here. It's a lot of noise. You love They're it. They're on Squidward. mountains. <laughs> and there's people outside looking like, what the? How are they? What are y'all doing in here? <laughs> you love it, Squidward. Beat. Beat, 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 beat. Remember they opened, he opened the box and that's all he was doing? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> that's our <laughs> episode. Them niggas was having a time that of their show lives, is legendary, bro. bro. But they were only in a box. Yeah. <laughs> My guy out here watching They made a big porn. screen TV empty box. Well, no, box. it was clam porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> or or model or whatever. Oh, what was she doing? All he was doing was waving. 
<laughs> shit was funny as that, Gary. Bro, that was such a like, What was he watching that, that got him in? Niggas was in a, what Gary gonna do? You the owner. <laughs> you start hitting it start hitting your head like Oh, I got it. Oh man, oh, Gary yeah. was watching some naughty things. <laughs> <laughs> SpongeBob, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> all in all, man, we hope y'all enjoyed the pod, man. Make sure y'all run up them likes, <laughs> subscribe. Episode eighty-seven, mm-hmm. still going up, man. Can't wait till we, you know, continue this thing going more and more and more. For sure, for sure, for sure. Y'all. But we love y'all. Continue to spread love, be love, keep God first always. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Already go. <laughs>